My research is focused on attention and learning and how those things occur in healthy people um, and how they're disrupted in people with, with mental disorders. So I'm particularly interested in how in what goes on in the brain when people are paying attention to something and ignoring other parts of the scene, let's say, or uh, what changes in the brain when people learn something new. What we perceive, what we experience is, is a very small portion of what our, our brain's doing. When I'm looking around the world, you know, there's a, about a thumbnail's size of it is in high resolution at any moment. But of course I perceive the whole scene in high resolution and all that is is the brain is filling in all those gaps. You don't actually see that and that's, that's humbling I think when you, when you think about that. So if you can find that counterintuitive moment where the world they think works one way and actually it turns out it works some other way and it can change how, how you see things. Well, that's the gold moment, right? That's when something becomes interesting. And so one example for me is this idea of memory constantly being rewritten and rewritten and rewritten. Our memories, if we tell ourselves something again and again and again, then we remember that the way that we told ourselves, it's not, it's not set in stone like a tape. And I think when you capture that and understand what that means, I think it changes how you kind of interact with the world.